Hi, my name is Danny Dainton and this is Whiteboard Testing. So I'd like to, in this video, describe how I use a certain system or a certain method that I've adapted from uh, my previous Army experience uh, into software testing. So this relates to uh, when you're on a testing session and you're, um, you're on a specific mission or a charter and you come across a problem and you, you, you're interested by this problem, but at the moment that has nothing to do with the charter that you're on. Um, so I like to capture a, a brief uh, initial piece of information so then I can go back and then uh, investigate that problem more. Um, so if this problem is something that stops you in your tracks, obviously you're going to spend more time and you're actually going to investigate the problem there and then rather than continue with your, your chart or your mission. Um, but in this instance, um, I let's say I've spotted a problem or I spotted a potential problem that I think is a problem. Uh, I'm going to note a uh, initial bits of information down and then move on with the charter and then come back to it um, after I've finished my, my mission or my, my charter. So this is kind of in a response to a video that Rich has done uh, where he describes a key or a legend that he follows um, or he has followed in the past when he's creating notes for his test sessions. And the first part of uh, his key is bug, uh, which he uh, describes that he notes down some information um, so that he can come back and then um, do some further investigation. So uh, in my experience, um, there in the army, we have uh, different procedures that we follow for different situations, uh, and I've adapted this from that. So the situation that occurs uh, when you're on operations is that you come under contact. So you come under uh, effective enemy fire. And what we do is to uh, send an initial uh, contact report to our HQ, so that alerts everyone that there's a problem, something's going wrong, and you send a, a short, sharp piece of information across the radio waves uh, for the HQ to action uh, something on that. They might send people to your location or prepare to send a, a CASI back a helicopter to your location. It could be anything. So in this instance, I'm taking a snippet of that and then applying it to my initial bug report. So this is my initial bug report, which is a 3W method. So the W's in testing uh, and questioning, you probably recognize these, but I've used them in uh, a certain context in this instance. So the first one is when. When it occurred. It's pretty simple. Time is a really important in testing and uh, to uh, get back to a problem uh, that you've had half an hour ago, you want to know the exact timing. You don't want to be rooting around log files looking for something that occurred. So I like to uh, timestamp everything that I do, especially if it's a problem, um, so that I can go back. So I, it might not be um, around that specific time, but at least you can then time bracket either five minutes before or after um, to get the uh, information uh, that you require, or there might be some information contained within a log file or any other monitoring source that you, you might use. And the second W is where. So I use where in this context is that in my uh, piece of software that I test on a daily basis, um, there's specific areas that I know that, okay, I'm using this part of the system uh, and I can go and locate that straight away. So I'm not looking around for um, extra information once I get to the timing. I know, okay, I've got a timing and I know exactly where that is in our software, what area I need to investigate more into. And finally, the last W is what? So what it is, what have you found? What uh, is causing you to go off charter for that specific time uh, and that place to have a look at something? So this um, is a, just a one sentence or one liner, a brief description of something, what has gone wrong. And you don't want to spend too much time on this. So it needs to be succinct. It needs to be short and sharp and straight to the point. So you don't want to come back to that specific bug uh, report, the initial bug report in say half an hour time and forget what it was in the first place. You want to uh, describe the problem in the shortest amount of time possible. So you could, uh, again, you could attach things to this. You could attach a screenshot or uh, maybe an animated video that you've captured of that area or any other thing that you're using to, um, any tool that you're using to assist your testing while on that session that could be useful in this occasion. So there it is, really short video, really short system, but this works for me potentially might work for you, I don't know. You might use something yourself. If you do, whiteboard test uh, on Twitter, um, send a message to Richard or even send a video to Richard, that'd be great. And he can post it on the channel 
and um, I'd love to hear any other method that people use. Cheers.